A News 5 special report tonight. We continue our special series, Digital Dangers. Chances are you or someone you know has bass boosting headphones like Beats. Our tech reporter, J.B. Buno, found out from the experts what blasting music through these headphones is doing to our ears. They're cool. They're high tech. They're loud. Bass boosting headphones like Beats are the hottest audio accessory on the market. Ah, do, you, do you crank them up all the way? Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> but their sheer power of volume isn't just getting noticed out in public, it's also being noticed in here. It's fine to listen, but if I can hear it when I walk in the room with you, it's too loud. Dr. Kimberly Elliott is an ear doctor. We're going to switch ears, okay? And Jennifer Taylor Guy is an audiologist at Premier Medical, and they're both concerned. This is a whole new generation of children, adolescents, 20-year-olds, who may show up with what we would consider older ears at a much younger age. But Elliot says it's not just these Beats headphones, it's earbuds too, especially ones like Apple's that funnel sound directly into the ear. It's always a problem even in adults, but in small children, the rule is the smaller the ear, the louder the sound grows in the ear and the more dangerous it can be. Let's go inside your ear and show you exactly what's happening here when you put on these headphones and crank up the volume. The music, it travels inside past the inner ear, past the eardrum, and it's hitting these microscopic hair fibers which are critical for your hearing. And all this music, it's doing irreversible damage to these hair fibers and it's hearing loss you'll carry for the rest of your life. You can think of it like waves beating against a shore. Basically, the sound comes in and it beats and it beats and it beats over time. And so you crush the little hair fibers over time that transmit the sound. Taylor Guy says in some cases, symptoms in young ears are already showing up. The child complains of ringing in the ear. Um, the child complains of muffled speech and the TV is turned up too loud. Here's the golden rule. Both doctors agree to avoid hearing loss. Music volume should never go above 50%. But with kids, that's easier said than done. Can you do them half volume? Are you going to you gonna put them at half volume because they're better for your ears or, or what? No. <laughs> no. No, I will not. It's a tech responsibility that falls on parents. If you can hear it, you can hear what the child is listening to, then it's generally too loud. For loud headphones with loud music, the volume must come down, or later on in life, we'll suffer the consequences of this digital danger. I want to stress a very important point that both experts made for this story. Beats headphones, earbuds, they aren't dangerous themselves, but using them at full blast for hours a day will do damage to your hearing, especially for children. Now, tomorrow on Digital Dangers, in part three of our reporting, we're going to look at what all this tech is doing to our brains and the brains of our children, some of whom are using devices around the same time they're learning to walk. For now, reporting in the studio, J.B. Buno, News 5.